yeah. how much fun was it for you guys on set? Oh man, I mean, this film came. I hadn't done that much uh, when this fel- film came along for me. I'd yeah. done a couple of indie movies, and um, I'd just done a TV show called Poldark for the BBC, which was probably the biggest thing I'd ever done at that time. Certainly with the span of audience and things like that. And so, I mean, that alone, at that point in my career, to to land this job, I was over the moon. I was intimidated. I was excited. Uh, you know, <laughs> and playing a, a role which Nicolas Cage had previously done, like all of that. It's uh, it's uh, I had a, a lot of um, anticipation for it, and and I really tried to throw my heart and soul into it. And everyone on set, really, every cast member, the director, the costume department, everybody really was approaching it with the same level of passion, which in my experience so far, you know, uh, really adds to a vibe on set. And I yeah. think um, it's such a fun movie anyway, uh, that I, you know, it, the energy on set was always high and um, it's just such a lot of fun to make. Yeah, we had a great time. And now the original obviously is so beloved. You talk about Nicolas Cage, like how daunting is it to step into the shoes of a character played by someone like him and how do you try and differentiate it um yeah i mean i remember when i i first watched the original and and when i knew about this uh role and everything and when i got the job obviously it, there was a moment of like am i really <laughs> going to do that <laughs> yeah. and yeah. there was definitely a moment where i had to get my head around that idea and um and, and kind of come to terms with how i was going to approach it but, you know, I kind of wanted to, I loved the original, just to, to, to say, you know, I, when I when I started, I watched it a couple of times, and I think it's such a raw and gritty kind of telling of, you know, coming of age story of teenage, mm-hmm. high school love, and all of that kind of stuff. Um, and ours is certainly in a different, a different world to it, especially being yeah. told through Julie's memory and imagination from the future, mm-hmm. I think, <laughs> or present day. Um, but yeah, you know, I, I wanted to try and embody that kind of classic American cool that Nicolas Cage has um, naturally, so very naturally. Um, but then I also wanted to like, you know, I didn't want to get too tied down into something that already existed. And I wanted to see it as an opportunity to bring some of my imagination to the character as well, because uh, he's like, you know, Randy being a punk in the script, you know that it doesn't it doesn't say his every movement you know and so there was a lot of character sort of choices that i was i had the freedom to make which uh was really exciting for me to just it was kind of like a blank canvas of a character and it's just yeah. like you know the opportunity to make somebody kooky and weird and energetic <laughs> a bit like, ah! <laughs> you know like, can you talk a little bit about just all the other cast members in this film it's such a stacked cast i think of young talent that I imagine it had to have just been fun to work with everyone and kind of see everyone's process. Yeah. <laughs> no, I, like, everybody did such an amazing job. Um, Jess, of course, uh, to start with, was a brilliant co-star. She came to set every day with, you know, a smile on her face and just ready to work. She was passionate and really easy to get along with. So, you know, yeah. we yeah. hit it off, and that was really vital to the film. We're all just like so perfect for the roles. Um, and also Logan Paul was brilliant to work with. You know, he was, um, you know, he's very energetic on his YouTube channel. But he's yeah. actually kind of down to earth um, in real life, you know, and that was like a, a nice surprise too. Uh, <laughs> he came really prepared and I felt he was really passionate about, about the job. Now, for you coming from the UK, how familiar were you with Val- the, the Valley Girl idea in general? Is that a thing over there? Is it something everyone knows about? Or No. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, I didn't know about it really until I watched the original. Yeah. Uh, and I didn't watch Clueless. And I didn't, you know, so I wasn't really involved in, in, in knowing about that being a thing. I mean, I, sure, I was... Uh, I had a stereotype in my mind without knowing that it was a valley girl of the girl, you know, it's like whatever, <laughs> you know, like that existed to me, but yeah, yeah. I didn't know that was like a valley girl. Um, so yeah, it was, it was really cool to kind of learn more about that. And um, I just thought everyone did it so well. 